Merry Christmas, guys. Welcome to another episode of Boomer Barbecue. It is Christmas afternoon. It's about almost 2 p.m. And I'm going to smoke a duck for Christmas. So, uh, without further ado, let's get started. So, I decided to try something different. Uh, I was shopping in Aldi and I found myself a bunch of frozen ducks. And they were a pretty decent price, a two, maybe two seventy nine a pound. Um, this one cost a 15 room change, about four and a half pounds. And I will run you through the process of what I did because I had to watch a couple of videos. I didn't really, have never done a duck before. And by the way, this is all going to be on, on hand. I'm holding this in my hand because I can't find my my little uh, thing that holds the camera. I'm also having brain farts, you know, so that's what happens when you get old. But um, I knew one thing I wanted to do was going to brine the duck. So uh, one of the things I found out, is, of course, is you have to have the right solution. So for every gallon of water, you're going to use a cup of, of uh, the, the sea salt or kosher salt. If you're using fine salt, you're only going to use point, you know, three quarters of a cup of salt. Um, so I did that. Uh, it was in there for 36 hours. They said anywhere from 24 to 48. I did 36. Uh, I also had a cup of brown sugar in the mixture. I had some bay leaves and I had some pepper, fresh ground pepper. I didn't have any peppercorns. So I fresh ground some uh, pepper from a, a prepackaged container. So I did that today. I pulled it out of the brine, I rinsed it off. Um, they say if you want crispier skin, you're gonna need to uh, dry it or let it air dry. I didn't have time for that, so I did the best I could, I pat dry it. And I had this little cocktail fork, which had two little pins, and you literally have to go through the skin and punch a whole bunch of tiny little holes because ducks have a, a very thick layer of fat under them, and, and you don't want that to be stuck on the meat it's going to make the meat greasy you want it to have a place to go and hopefully it'll help also uh, crisp up the skin with the fat coming out on on the skin so we're hoping for that um, also I took the package of orange sauce that came with this duck now somebody said I should throw it away but I'm gonna hold on to it and I bought a bottle of uh, you know 100% maple syrup and I'm gonna move mix it half and half that's gonna become my glaze towards the end so let me show you the duck right quick before I put it in. Uh, hang on just a second. And uh, there she, or he is. Uh, you can see I already have the probe in there because I'm going to want to temp it. I'm not going to be wa wanting to be outside because it's a bit chilly out here. So I'm going to monitor the temperature from outside. Of course, I'll monitor the time as well. And... Um, as you can see on the inside, there are some oranges. They're mandarin oranges. I quartered them and I quartered a, a full onion. So it's about a one and a half oranges in there and one onion. So that helps build up the breast because it'll sink in. So it's better to hold it up and then the, the fat will come off. I used my coffee a rub on the outside. Uh, so I'm going to be doing this duck at 350 because I want the skin to crisp up. A lot of people do it different ways. I saw somebody do it at 275. I'll probably get not as much smoke flavor as I like, but I do want the crispy skin. So I don't have a broiler to do anything like that. Somebody used a broiler, you know, all that kind of stuff. So we're just gonna do it 350. We're gonna monitor the breast temperature. I'm gonna probably take it up to 160. And, uh, you know, so just before that, as it gets up to like maybe 150, 155, I'll throw some of the glaze on there. So I'll, I'll fill you in through the whole process. So the pellet grill is up to 350. So hang on a second, I'm gonna put it in. I also decided to put it, I bought a, uh, a nice baking pan with a rack from Aldi's that was on sale for 12.95. dollars 
Uh, so, because this way, I've also heard that duck fat is very flammable. I do not want my pellet grill going on fire from the fat dripping onto the pan, for, to the bottom heating element. And this uh, will keep it off the bottom, hopefully get a good circulation. Should still get a good amount of smoke in there. So let's get it on the grill and get it started because I want to get done before it gets dark. <laughs> All right, hang on a second. I'll be right back. Well, I'm very happy. The pan fit in there perfectly, perfect size. Uh, nothing too much. Probably could have used that for the turkey when I did turkey. Um, so we're going to close her up and we're going to be back from time to time checking on her. So I will update you as I do that. See you in a few. All right, guys, it's been about an hour. And I'll just show you right up in here if we can see it and get the right angle. The duck breast is already up to 113 degrees. So we're going to take a quick look. I've got my glaze out here and ready to go. Like I said, I took the orange sauce and uh, I mixed it 50-50 with uh, maple syrup. So I really, the orange sauce had a nice thickness to it and uh, the, maple, uh, the maple syrup thinned it out a little bit so it should be nice for a glaze. So let's take a look at the duck and see how it's doing. Alright. Yeah. Uh, some fat on the knee. You can see that. It's not really dark in color so I don't know how well it's going to be what kind of smoke flavor we'll get on it but but that's the progress right now so hopefully when I put a little glaze on it'll darken it up I want the skin to get crispy but I would also like to get some smoke so um, so we'll check back again I'm gonna keep an eye on the temperature when it gets uh, to be close to 140 145 I'm gonna come out and check it again and probably put some glaze on it and we'll go from there so all right, we'll see you in a bit. All right, guys, the temperature's up to 151. And I'm looking at this bird, and the skin is not crispy at all. So it's not really getting the color. Although the temperature is pretty much on point. So it's got maybe six more degrees. So I'm, I'm going to try to put some glaze on it. So let me just get set up for that and I'll be right back. Okay. Gonna give it some more time see if it picks up what color is it was I may have to take this duck out of the pan and see what happens because I'm definitely not gonna get the desired results so I might even turn the breast face down towards the heat just to crisp up that skin so we'll be back in all right guys uh, the breast reached 160 and I wasn't happy with the look of the skin it's definitely not crispy um, so it might have been a mistake to put it in a big roasting pan, but uh, so let me show you what I did. I took the rack out of the pan and I left it in there and now the bird is with the breast facing down. I'm hoping it's going to get enough heat from the plate to crisp up that skin. So I glaze it again. As you can see, it's 
it's holding at 162 right now so I'm gonna finish it up the best I can when it's done to my liking I will show you how it came out uh, just to let you guys know also I have an Instagram page now you can find it at boomer underscore BBQ and I will take pictures and place them on there there's also other stuff I have in there so if you'd like you can check me out over at, at uh, Instagram also um, before I get to the end this will probably be my final video for this season I'm probably not gonna make any more until the next barbecue season so come either early spring you know April or May when I decide to start firing things up again, I'll start making more videos. I'll be keeping an eye on the on the comments and whatnot, of course. But uh, I don't do anything extra besides the barbecue, and I'm just documenting my cooks. So I'm going to take a break for a while. So I'm going to wish you guys a uh, happy new year. Um, always keep smoking, you know, if you're in the warmer weather, of course. Um, Y'all do what you do. I'm gonna take a break. So, um, so when this thing is done, I'm gonna, I'm gonna video it. I'm gonna show you how it looks, and then uh, we'll go from there. And then I'll, after I slice it up, I'll take some pictures and I'll place it on Instagram. So, all right. So we'll catch you in a bit. All right, guys. Here it is. Uh, she hit 169 in the breast, so I didn't want to push it any further. Um, the color's going to look a little washed out. It's not too bad looking. Um, let me see if I can quick show you what the, the actual temperature is. Hold on just a second. Though. All right, so I'm going to pop that in there. So you can see that at 169, the legs are 171. Let's check this one over here. One sixty-seven, so she's definitely done. I'll probably put a little bit more glaze on her. And uh we're going to let it rest for a little bit and then we're going to carve into it and have Christmas dinner. So, again guys, I'll try to get this out by the end of today. Merry Christmas to all. Happy New Year. And I hope we have a great barbecue season coming in 2022. So, I'll see you then. Taking a sabbatical until about April, May. And then we'll break her out. Clean up the grills. Probably gonna have a little rust on my cook, uh, my uh, firebox on on my my grand champ. But we'll take care of all of that in the spring. So she's gonna stay covered up and uh, and last out through the winter. So all right, guys. Hope you guys had a wonderful Christmas. Hope you had a great meal. And don't forget to keep on smoking. Take care.